What's up, YouTube? We are back for part two of the 2.4 story quest for Honkai Star Rail. Yeah, let's just get right on into it. I'm really excited to see where this is going to go. It's been a minute because I just went to a convention, but we are back. <laughs> Can you believe it? March 7th has actually become a pretty decent sword master in such a short time. Now I understand why Grandpa always had a grin on his face while training me. Let's go. I'll give you a tour of the Sky Splitter. All right, let's head over. So many fox people. <gasps> Jocho. Looks like a lot of other visitors Papa have also Kazua. come to catch a glimpse of the Sky Splitter. I love Hot Pot Kazuha. Uh, what's up, Mr. Jaucho? Mr. Jaucho? No, it's nothing. That doesn't look like nothing. Do you see that airship in the distance? That's the Sky Splitter. The venue for the war dance ceremony. It doesn't look all that impressive from this distance. Okay. The Sky Splitter is actually Aww. a decommissioned Lafu military vessel. People aren't allowed to board until the war dance officially commences. Wait, that's so cute! Wait! That's so cute! I'm taking a screenshot, one second. That's adorable! Tomorrow, when the bell rings and... The ceremonial cannons roar. I'll be there representing the cloud. He's doing the um actually. Standing in the ring, ready to take on challengers from all over the cosmos. Since I was a kid, I've been training in swordplay and the art of war under the general. Every day, Yan -Ching, I aren't swing you my sword ten thousand times, and then thrust it ten thousand times. Repeating the process over and over. I understand that I'm not like other kids. I never envied I'm not the like toys other kids. And freedom they all had. I never found sword practice boring or hard. Even in the thick of battle, facing down savage abominations, I never felt scared. Each day, I could feel myself getting stronger and stronger, and I racked up countless victories. It's the best feeling in the world. But then, what is I happened? faced a really tough opponent, and just one slash shattered my confidence into a thousand pieces. Oh, is that Jing Liu? That's when I felt true fear for the first time. Maybe... That's what Mr. Zhao Cho meant by life and death hinge on a singular moment. Every idea fades into nothingness. After that, I had to pick up the pieces and try to put myself back together. But no matter how hard I tried, I couldn't seem to find my old happy self again. Oh, he went through a I depression arc because of Jing Lu. Why do I wield my sword? If defeat is inevitable, why do I continue to fight? Is it to reclaim the joy of victory? To meet the general's expectations? Or to secure my honor among the Cloud Knights? While the general could teach me the art of swordplay, he couldn't teach me why I should keep on going. He said, the reason must come from within myself. I've been struggling to find that reason. But after talking with you, Mr. Zhao Cho, I think I already have that reason in mind. As a member of the Cloud Knights and the General's Apprentice, I've had a weight on my shoulders. He is... he is talking. still more to shoulder. But... When I wield my sword, it feels like I'm letting go of everything. I love the feeling of giving it my all, facing any obstacle in front of me, pressing forward. That 
That's why I wield my sword. Oh, Yanqing. So young, yet so grown. Well, his eyes are open. By the way, how old are you exactly? Oh my god, thank you. Age doesn't really matter. Yes, it All does. Sword masters will understand how I feel. No, age does matter. Hmm. I get it. Looks like all the kids on the law food live tough lives. So, how about you, Miss Yunli? It's not polite to ask a girl her age. Bruh. No matter which Siendo ship you're on. Bruh, can, can they just answer the question? I'm not asking your age. I'm asking if you have a dream like Yan Ching has. You don't talk like a cook. You sound more like a TV host or something. <laughs> Need I repeat myself again? I'm a healer. A healer. Well, I I don't have a dream like Yan Ching does. The only reason I'm participating in the Ringmaster's challenge is because I made a promise to my grandfather that I'd win the precious sword he's contributed to the war dance. Sounds like that mind of yours is just filled with swords. <laughs> I bet you've got nothing better on your mind. <laughs> My father was a craftsman. Oh, someone has daddy on the issues. Because of his foolishness, many innocent people fell victim to the cursed swords he forged. Since I was a kid, it's been clear to me that not everyone deserves to have a weapon in their hands. Giving them a sword is no different than being cruel to the innocent. So, whenever I come across someone unworthy of a sword, I can't help but want to take it away from them. <laughs> Given that Yen Qing is the war dance ringmaster, I'm stepping up to challenge him. To ensure the precious sword doesn't fall into the hands of an unworthy master. Hey, what do you mean by an unworthy master? <sighs> I see. It's not easy for kids on the Ju Ming either. Well, it's better oh, yeah, to have a reason the Yao for wielding right? a sword than to be lost and confused. I've saved countless Cloud Knights in my life, and there are plenty of exceptional warriors. Just like the two of you. What happened, Mr. Zhao Cho? Oh, oh, nothing. I was just reminded of some I love his voice. old friends and old tales. Judging from my professional perspective as a healer, both of a you healer. possess remarkable vitality. Your energies flow like raging fires and mighty gales. The upcoming fight will definitely be impressive. Well, we've seen the Sky Splitter and toured the Stargazer Navalia. I guess it's time to say goodbye for now. What? You're leaving already? <laughs> but you haven't asked me about my day. Yeah, that's rude. I've been working hard too, you know. It's getting late, Miss March. Wow. Unlike you lot, I'm a grown-up bound by responsibilities wow. and duties. The tasks entrusted to me by the general won't complete themselves. By the way, Yen Chi, wow! is it normal to have so many people wandering around in an automated area like the Stargazer Navalia? Actually, this is a restricted area. But since you're all guests, I made an exception, so you could take a look around. I understand. Well, I'll take Poor my march. Leave. I wish you both the best of luck in the ring tomorrow. Gaucho waves and then leaves. Mm. Oh, seriously? I just spent so much time thinking about my dream, but he didn't even ask me. Oh, Marge. Now that we're done with our tour of the Sky Splitter, shall we continue with our training? Why don't we take a day off? What? You want to secretly practice swordplay by yourself? Dream on. <laughs> you know cramming before a fight never works out. For some reason, seeing the sky splitter has boosted my confidence. So, 
I've decided to conserve my strength for tomorrow. No. All right. I'll take you out of the Stargazer Navalia. Oh, Yanqing. He's growing up. Got my baby Marge. She's so cute. She's so cute. Run, girly, run. How come they can make her run normally, but then they make Belle run like a freaking attack on Titan? Titan. Oh, just shut up, Red Fang. This is not a beast ship. I need some time to take care of things. You willingly donned the skin of a lowly beast to join this mission, dedicating yourself to our glorious cause. And now you're telling me you can't handle it? Do you realize how many ships we oh. need? Oh. I'm doing my best, all right? It takes time to figure all this out. When the guns go off tomorrow, all eyes will be on it. That'll be our only chance. How's us? Who's there? Uh oh. Who are you guys? <laughs> Who are you guys? An impromptu inspection. Why are there outsiders loitering in Stargazer Navalia? And uh, a bunch of kids at that. <laughs> Hey, kids, didn't your parents ever tell you to stay away from the Stargazer Navalia? Damn. I know it's an automated facility, but it do doesn't you know mean who you we are? Break in and do what you want. Who are you calling kids? I'll take the little ones away right now. Who are you calling kids? First of all, I'm an adult. Second, I didn't just break in. Wait, confirming March is an adult? Are they are they confirming March is an adult? Let's freaking go. Yeah, we flew here on a star skip. Like whoosh. Whoosh. Well, I'm not trying to tell you off, but this place is off limits to the public, you know? Uh big sis! Oh let's go! I I wanna play in ever hunt planes! Big sis! Ever hunt planes? Uh, <laughs> yeah, sure. The big sis will take you there. <laughs> you should have let me. <laughs> big sis Mars. The overhaul is done, and everything looks good. We should leave. Yunjing has grown so much. Could you repeat what you just said, Yenching? <laughs> what did I say? Big sis, let's go. I want to play in everyone planes. Uh, come on, can't you read the room? Something is definitely off. That's about cute. The That's really cute. Met. Yeah, anyone could see that. <laughs> I just wanted to hear you say it again. <laughs> that pink-haired fox tried to say something. I'm pretty sure he sent something fishy. Since he's not familiar with this place, he just dropped us a hint. But you didn't seem to be paying attention at all. I knew that from the beginning. The Cloud Knight didn't recognize Master Yan Ching. Looks like they were tampering with the Starscape production line, huh? Uh, that Cloud Knight didn't recognize Master Yan Ching at all. That's really weird. What? Is he famous on the Lavu or something? Not even the Cloud Knights on the Juming, who all know my glorious name, might recognize my face. You have a point. A Cloud Knight, <laughs> a member from the Skyfaring Commission, and a craftsman. They're from various departments, and the reason for the overhaul seems legit. But one of them blurted out some weird language just now. Did you hear that? I have a feeling that if we secretly tail them, we'll definitely catch these guys in the act. Follow my lead, 
and be careful not to blow our cover. Oh my god, stealth mode. Please, I'm so bad at stealth. No, I'm so bad at stealth. Never mind who they are. Let's just film them. Oh. Huh? Enhance. We should have just killed those lowly beasts. Those little brats won't take up much space. There are boxes all over this place. Just dump them into one and no one will notice. Um... Cut the theatrics, Gulak. Gulak. Even the slightest slip-up could interfere with Lord Moktok's plans. So where are we heading next? To check the freight skiffs. We've got a lot of preparations to do. Also, don't forget to take those crates with you. Weapons, supplies. We've got to be well prepared. Otherwise, we're screwed. We're screwed. So, are they... smugglers? What exactly are they up to? What I have exactly no clue. Are they up to? They seem to be moving those crates. I've got an idea. We can hide inside the crates and follow them. Sa. Okay. I like that on, I don't have to be stealth mode. Taking advantage of the temporary absence of the group, you cautiously approach a crate and crawl inside. Oh, it's so cramped in here. I can hardly breathe. Just hang in there. You hear footsteps pacing back and forth besides the crate. Someone, if someone were to open the crate at that moment, they would certainly catch you in your ridiculous hiding position. Fortunately, that does not happen. The floating mechanisms at the bottom of the crate is activated and you begin to drift slowly forward. After what feels like an ent entire amber era of holding breath in silence, you hear you heard the sound of the crate touching down. Let's just put the cargo here for now, all right? Then we'll move on to inspect the ships. Lord Moktok said that as soon as we're done, we're to board the freight skiff and leave this place. Don't worry, I've changed the shipping schedule. You two, come with me. Is it just me? I keep smelling that stench of lowly beasts everywhere um, we go. Don't be so paranoid. Um. The departing footsteps sound like a signal, prompting you to breathe a sigh of relief. Looks like they're planning to escape on the skiffs in Stargazer Navalia. They keep talking about their plans, but where did they come from? And, and where did they, they go, Cotton Eye Joe? Joe? They're definitely up to something bad. Wait, uh, they disappeared. Uh, let's catch up to them. Oh no. Tread softly. Breathe quietly. <gasps> Did he spot us? Quickly, hide. Watch out. You're on high alert. What? I knew something was off. I I was behind Only my box. Stench of lowly beasts in the air. Huh? Looks like those brats were following us the Why are they coming back? Looks like they're planning to us. They keep talking about uh, their No, you guys saw that, right? That was sussy. No, 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 no. You guys saw that, right? I was hiding.
Okay. 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 Don't be so paranoid. We're running out of time. Get over here. Juhar. I'm coming. Juhar. Oh my god, he's running. They're leaving. We should catch up to them. Quickly. Okay. What are they up to? They're all wearing okay. official uniforms, but I'm pretty sure they're not members of the Skyfaring Commission, the Artisanship Commission, or the Cloud Knights. This is way too suspicious. So sus. Uh, never mind who they are. Let's just film them. That way, if they do anything bad, we'll have solid evidence against them. Yeah, right. A 3x. Ooh, that was like cool. Like, oh. Look at this. A freight star skiff with enough room to fit at least 20 of my men. I'll let the others know and have them prepare more star skiffs. More star skiffs. More! Once we're past the checkpoint, there will be beast ships waiting for us. Lord Moktok is ready. The Mok revival of our ancient bloodline all hinges on this operation. What did he just say? Beast ships? <gasps> Who's there? Oh no. It's Bro, you turned your shutter off? I told you to get rid of them, but you didn't listen, you idiot! Girl, Mars. them all out! <gasps> oh my god, hello? Boris? I could take ten of you! Adusa! Die, you lowly beasts! Um, March, baby, why are you, um, March, why are you, um? Oh, come on! Let me fight! Uh, um, March, why are you in Robin's spot? Um, why is she in Robin's spot? You couldn't have taken, I don't know, Acheron's? Or Fushuen's? Here you go, Master! Ooh, um, erm. Um. Um. Ill tidings manifest. It came together, together as one. Human creation. Okay. <laughs> More iconic duo, me and not having skill points. Ready to shine. <laughs> Rude. Destiny isn't chosen. Uh. uh. I see through you. <laughs> okay. Okay, it's fine. How is this it's possible? Fine. How did these Foxians change their appearances like that? They're not Foxians at all. They revealed their true form. They're Borison, just like the bandits I defeated on the IPC ship. Uh oh. Wait, that means. The Borison have infiltrated the Xianzhou. Well, how did the Borison manage to infiltrate the Sienjo? It's not just a simple disguise of wearing our clothing and shaving their whiskers. They're somehow able to alter their appearance to be indistinguishable from Foxians. Yep. They even have official IDs for the Skyfaring Commission, the Artisanship Commission, and... and even the Cloud Knights? 
Let me check this fake Cloud Knight's tag. This fake Cloud Maybe Knight's tag. Maybe it'll give us tag. some clues. Lujun, an officer of the patrol defense squad? Uh-oh. Uh, wait! Wait, are they killing people and What's taking the their skins? I encountered a patrol officer named Lujun before. It was a few weeks ago when we were transporting the Borison prisoners. If they can forge official identities and move around the Sienjo without raising no? suspicion. No, okay, not that dark. Oh no, this is bad. Uh, even worse, if you find one cockroach on the express, it usually means. There are more Boris in hiding on the Sienjo. I bet their plan is much bigger than just stealing information. Why is everyone always pretending to be a Foxian, huh? We've got to report this to the Seed of Divine Foresight. Like, like this isn't the first time it's happened. Uh, same thing happened with Tingyun and Fantilia. I got really excited. I'm like, oh, Robin's here. Welcome to my oh, oh, oh. Okay, let me actually move her position so she can stop being taken from me. Oh, hey, Fei Xiao. Oh my god, the generals are together. I'm glad to finally meet you in person, guests from the Astral Express. I'm Fei Xiao. The general of the Xian Zhou Yao Cheng. She really does have the blue eye stare. Let me introduce our guest to you. The one dressed in green. He's the reincarnation of Inviter Lune, and the person behind him is the newest member of the crew. Yeah, I've heard a lot about you. Good things, I hope. Outside the reports from the Law Fu, the Skyfaring Commission of the Yao Xing has also gathered plenty of information about both of you. I've been eager to meet you face to face for reasons that I'm sure General Jing Yuan has explained, right? Yeah, we're here to answer those your questions as witnesses. General Jing Yuan didn't tell us about your intentions at all. You're here about the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection, no? That's right. But don't worry, this isn't a trial. I just want to have a chat with you and get a better understanding of the facts. I do like her voice a lot. According to General Jing Yuan's report, the Ruin Legion is to blame for the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, and all Arbiter Generals should pay attention to the Ruin Author's movements. Over the years, the Destruction's minions have wreaked havoc on countless worlds, and the Alliance has been keeping an eye on them, but no one expected them to join hands with the remnants of the Abundance. The damage caused by the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis was far less severe than expected, which is good news for us. However, it was quite different from the Ruin Legion's usual style of destroying life wherever they go. While I trust the bravery of the Divine Foresight and the Nameless, I'm curious about some details missing from the report. I'd like to take this chance to have an exchange with both of you. Oh? Let me be clear. The questions I'll ask might not reflect my actual thoughts. So please don't take offense if any of my questions seem a bit harsh. Please go ahead, General. But keep in mind we can only answer based on what we know. And perhaps you already have the answers to your questions in your heart. You tell him, Danny. <laughs> you have a clever tongue. I like it. The so Merlin's claw is quite articulate. Oh, God. Right now, her intentions are unknown, and Jing Yuan wants us to be honest. Maybe I'll just stick to the facts. Guys, I lost this god on purpose, okay? I'm gonna get a drink real quick, and then I'll win this debate with no problemo, okay? No problem at all. I'm gonna win. I am going to win, win, 
Win, win, win. Yeah, sparkling water. ASMR before we, we win this debate. Let's cut to the chase. Before the crisis struck, the Astral Express was guided here by a Stellaron hunter. Keyboard a warrior Mina coming out. In an attempt to resolve the Stellaron crisis. Oh my god, you mean Kafka? However, everyone in the cosmos Kafka knows of the Stellaron hunter's reputation. So, why did you place so much trust in them? Could it be that some of you have a connection with them? Um, it's because I love Kafka. It comes down to the Celeron. We are the good guys. Raise your suspicion about your relationship with the Celeron hunters. Talk about Elio's prophecy. Guys, 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 stop telling me the right answers, okay? Let me pick my own debates, okay? Chat, chat, you gotta let me pick my own debates. Apart from the Law Fu, there are many other worlds suffering from Stellaron corrosion. For example, Urelo 6, the world that the Express stopped at before reaching the Law Fu, was one of them. To the Express, Stellarons act as roadblocks on the Silver Rail and pose risks to the warping process. And that's why dealing with Stellaron issues is part of the duty of the Nameless. Ah, I've heard about those problems caused by Stellarons. The Express connects various worlds, so it makes sense for you to take care of this. The Cosmos is a mess, and the Trailblazers are just doing their best to fix it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I understand. Let's move on to the next question. The report suggests that Don Shu, the master of the Disciples of Sanctus Medicus, colluded with the Lord Ravager and used the power of the Stellaron to resurrect the Ambrosial Arbor. Ambrosial Arbor. Okay. But here's the thing. Don Shu was just a chief alchemist. Even if she colluded with our enemies and summoned the Stellaron, how did she manage to bypass the Vidyatara guards around the Ambrosial Arbor? The, percep the preceptors of the Lofu seem suspicious. I've personally met Don Shu. The exile of Imbibita Lume is what led to this calamity. Refuse to answer anything. Well, I know that's not the right answer. Uh... How did she manage to bypass the Vidyatara? Uh... The exile of Imbibidi Luni is what led to this calamity. If the Lawfu hadn't exiled Don Hung, leaving the Vidyatara with no leader, wait, 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 they wouldn't have fallen into chaos, and there wouldn't have been the opportunity to bring the Stellaron uh, to the roots of the arbor unnoticed. Yeah. And Vibrator Luni oh. was exiled due to his own crimes. Now. Don Hung, as his reincarnation, Don Hung is did nothing free wrong. from his sins. However, oh, she agrees with me. why did he risk trespassing on the Sanjo Lawfu before his exile was lifted? I was concerned about the safety of my companions, so I acted brazenly. I admit I was reckless at the time, but... But he returned despite everything. Now, let's consider the outcome. The arbor was resurrected, and the Lawfu required a high elder to repair the seal and suppress the plague mark. It's hard not to think about the stakes involved, right? According to the report, Lord Ravager Fantilia is the mastermind behind the entire yeah. conspiracy. Yeah. She disguised herself as an ambassador <gasps> of the mentioned. Sky Faring Commission and traveled with you, only to vanish without a trace later on. It seems too convenient to label her as a scapegoat. Um, Fushuen, the Master Diviner, witnessed everything firsthand. Fentilia is a Heliobus. Fentilia was eager, eager to obtain the power of Ambrosial Arbor or refused to answer anything. Uh... uh, 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 uh I think I'm 
bad at debating. Back then, we were Let's go! with Diviner Fu, and she Let's also go! witnessed Fantilia's true form. You're not going to doubt one of your own people, are you? Yeah, are you gonna, yeah, you're not gonna doubt one of your own people, are you? Of course not. We can trust the testimony of Master Diviner ha! Fu Xuan. However, oh. even if she saw it with her own eyes, we can't completely rule out the possibility that she might have been deceived. After all, it's suspicious how the culprit just bizarrely vanished. Yeah, I agree. I agree with you. <laughs> Look at me. I won, sucker. Oh. It seems that your answers have addressed all my oh, questions. Hello there. Generals, I am finished with my questioning. So, what do you think, General Fei Shao? Have the doubts in the report been cleared up? <sighs> the two nameless have been honest in their answers. Even though there are some tricky details, my intuition tells me there is nothing wrong. Easy clap. However, Got her the blue three eye questions I crazy. posed earlier were not just for the nameless, but for you too, General Jing Yuan. First, the disciples of Sanctus Medicus grew uninterrupted on the Law Fu, yet the six charioteers were not aware of it. That was a dereliction of duty. Second, you believed in the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy and entrusted outsiders to solve the crisis, even granting them access to the Plague Mark. That was a dereliction of responsibility. You know, if her eyes were gold, Third, we would have the same you eyes. you insist on holding the war dance right after the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis, putting the Lawfu back in the spotlight. That is a dereliction of wisdom. Merlin's Claw. Is this your line of thinking, or the Ten Lords? From the moment I walked in, I made it clear that the questions I'd ask might not reflect my actual thoughts. <sighs> The disciples of Sanctus Medicus were deeply rooted and had been plotting for a long time. I admit it was my negligence for not noticing it earlier. As for the Stellaron Hunter's prophecy, I didn't believe all of it. But in the, the end, prophecy. the Law Fu did survive the Ambrosial Arbor Crisis. So, I think it's safe to say that Elio's prophecy about the future holds some merit. And as for the war dance, do you think I'm unaware of the risks? However, risks can also be opportunities. Yeah. The law foo has lain low for too long. I believe it's time to stir up the dregs hidden in the depths and wash them away once and for all. Do you want to sound different? <laughs> Just as I expected from our sophisticated divine foresight, you have a way with words. I like it. But, unfortunately, ever since the report was submitted, the Alliance has been filled with rumors and speculation. Even within the Law Fu, there are people accusing you of neglecting your duties, resulting in the Ambrosial Arbor's resurrection. So what are your thoughts on all of this? What are your General thoughts? Fei Shao? As a fellow Arbiter General, I fully understand the difficulties of this position. Personally, I think all these rumors are meaningless drivel. Across the sea of stars, the divine foresight knows better than anyone else what happened on the Law Fu and the meaning behind it. Just as what happened on this Yanzhou Yao Qing recently. Oh? You mean the Xianzhou Yao Qing is also the scouts of the Verdant Knights have sent back reports oh? that Borison are making trouble again. The Borison packs that were once divided and scattered have started swallowing each other up, forming larger and larger packs. Uh oh. Moreover, there's an entity named Mongus behind it all. Mongus? An entity? According to the report, this entity isn't actually a Borison. It's a woman claiming to be the messenger of the Master of Immortality. She's described as having 12 faces and 12 pairs of fangs, as cruel as Guys, poison. Guys, how crazy would that be if that's Ting Yun? The Borison believe 
she'll give them a chance to rise again. I don't think it is, but imagine it was. <sighs> That's Fentilia. Um, technically, I was That's right. That's right. You're lucky that I'm the one who came this time. If it were the Petunia Justice or the Seer Strategists, this conversation might not be so friendly. I've always had faith in my instincts, so I don't doubt your good intentions. But the Alliance has its fair share of questions and doubts about the Law Fu. So, my plan is to come up with an acceptable answer to satisfy the Alliance. What's in this plan, General Fei Xiao? General Jing Yuan, you already know what has to be done. But since you don't want to be the bad guy, I'll take care of it for you. You need the final word from the Ten Lords Commission to quell any doubts. Quell any and doubts. And for that, I'll have to ask the two Nameless to visit the Shackling Prison. Are you imprisoning us? No, I'm not imprisoning you. While you're there, I'll ask a judge in the Ten Lords Commission's interrogation division to record a detailed testimony. Oh, that's why Hanya and Shui Mira are here. Okay. You. We'll fill in the gaps that weren't covered in the report and silence any protests within the Alliance. Bro, I won the debate. Why I'm okay with jail? that. D Danny! I object! I'm worried that I might go back in my word and keep you in the shackling yeah. prison? Relax. If I wanted to do that, you'd already be behind bars. Once you're done with your testimony, you're free to come and go as you please. Then, as the Merlin's Claw requests... Oh, there's one more thing. This testimony is for silencing the voices of opposition within the Alliance. But I would like to urge General Jing Yuan to listen to the pleas of the Foxians on the Xianzhou Yaoqing. So, you are here for Hu Lei. Exactly. Hu Lei is locked up in the Law Fu's shackling prison. Since he is the broodlord of the Borisen, I want to transfer him onto the Xianzhou Yaoqing and imprison him there. The recent movements of the Borisen suggest they're planning something big. So we must act preemptively. It makes sense to have the Foxians keep an eye on their arch nemesis. Since you trust my judgment, I'll repay that trust. What do you think about all this, General Huayan? Old guy. <laughs> I was worried this would turn into a heated argument, but it seems like both of you are on the same page, solving each other's problems. I couldn't have asked for a better outcome. And as for Hule, I'll send my lieutenant Zhao Chao and Moza to check on his condition in prison Moza. and ready him for transport. If there are no more questions, shall we get this started? All righty. She gives you a once over and despite lacking any apparent reason, you feel scrutinized. As if she were sizing up an opponent. Do you actually believe in the Celeron Hunter's prophecy? The Sienjo's matrix of oh. prescience can also predict that was an the accident. future. Do you believe in its prophecies? Hmm. I understand. That was an accident. Do you really believe us? While words can be deceiving, your gaze, your breathing, and your scent. My gaze. They reveal more than your words do. I trust my intuition more than any words. I chose that by accident. Did I pick the right one? <sighs> I'm really sorry about all this. But the testimony in the Shackling Prison won't take up much of your time. I'll call for a messenger to take you to the interrogation division. You just need to give your testimony, and then you can head back. So no need to worry. Aw, Jingan. As you wish, General. Let's go. Sometime later, a star skiff carries you and Don Hung to a place that looks strangely familiar. As General Jing Yuan requested, everything is prepared for your arrival, and I am here to receive you. The judges at the interrogation division also know your purpose in coming. Stream 4. Where am I going? 
The Shackling Prison. The Shackling Prison. Oh my god. I... didn't expect to be back here after all these years. Don Hung. Don't worry about me. If you're ready, I'll open the gate for you. Still? Don Hung. Once I step through those doors, I'll be inside the prison? Uh, wait, is the shackling- no, I like three. Exactly. Please come on in, dear guests. We're ready to go in. Let me jump! Ooh! So many people here. Oh, they're both there too. Oh, Jiao Cho. Oh my God! Look at him. <gasps> What are you looking at? The shackling prison on the Lafu is completely different from the one on the Yaqing. It's completely underwater. Whether it's in the clouds or underwater, breaking free would still be a piece of cake for me. Yeah, okay, buddy. He really does look like wise. <laughs> still thinking about your old jailbreak tricks, huh? Forget it. You're free now. Just don't do anything stupid, or the judges will throw you back in there and lock you up for a few hundred years. You'll see me again in just a few days. Taking Hule back to the Yaoqing means a lot to the Foxians on the ship, and to the General herself. But I love his eyes. So stay alert. Oh, Shui Yi. Guests, my name is Shui Yi. And I'm here on orders from the Incarceration Division of the Ten Lords Commission. We're Zhao Cho and Moza. General Fei Xiao sent us to extradite the Borisin criminal Hu Lei to the Yao Chen. Hu Lei. Hu Lei, these nuts in your mouth. <laughs> We're here to inspect the conditions of his imprisonment and make preparations for the handover and transportation. I assume you've been briefed, Your Honor. Your visit request has been approved. I'll be your guide for this trip. Prisoner Hule, the warhead and brood lord of the Boris and Abominations of Abundance and the arch nemesis of the Foxians, is responsible for 2,123 wars of aggression and Holy countless shit. associated crimes. God damn. Due to his heinous acts, he has been imprisoned in the depths of the Shackling Prison and subjected to the punishment of the Forest of Swords until the end of time. He shall never be pardoned. Oh, no me. need to repeat his crimes and sentence, Your Honor. He is the greatest enemy of us Foxians. The stories of his atrocities are used to terrify our children. I'm well aware of every crime he's committed. Let's move on to the next step. When it comes to visiting criminals, there are rules in place to ensure your safety. I know you've heard legends about Hule since you were children, but your knowledge about him is likely very limited. Only the judges of the Ten Lords Commission truly know what kind of abomination is locked up at the bottom of the Shackling Prison. It has been centuries since Jing Liu, the former sword champion of the La Fu, captured Hule. And during all those years, we never provided him with any food Yet he somehow managed to stay alive. It defies all the documented physical characteristics of the Borison. The Forest of Swords, forged by the Punishment Division, is a device of intense torment used to execute sinful abominations. Most Borison die within three days in the forest, but Hule is different. Every time the blades pierce him, his body instantly heals. Despite the brutal punishment, he somehow manages to survive. The complex rules are there because of his abnormal characteristics. Do you understand now? 
I apologize for any offense caused. Please continue, Your Honor. I've given you the instructions regarding who lays visitation. Please make sure you read them carefully. Oh? Do I actually have to read them? Borse and Warhead, Denizen of Abundance, accountable for numerous acts of invasion, associated war crimes. Uh, do not mention Jing Lu when con conversing with this prisoner. I'm gonna mention Jing Lu. And please, take this pellet before proceeding. No, I'm not taking random medicine. Then you won't be allowed to visit Hule. Just swallow it already. Hule is like all Borison. He can release a pheromone called lupatoxin that induces fear. Thousands of years ago, we Foxians were enslaved by the Borisin. <coughs> Not because we were naturally weaker, but because of their lupatoxin. This pill is for our own mental well-being. <sighs> I understand. I knew you were a reasonable person. Good boy. Now that we've taken the medicine, let's proceed. Oh? Your Honor. What is it? Oh? No. Never mind. Maybe I'm just imagining things. Hmm. Let's keep moving. Hmm. That's sus. God damn. Here we are. Her honor hasn't arrived yet. Please wait a moment. Hey, Danny. This place. Oh. It's still as cold as it used to be. Oh, Danny. Are you okay, Don Juan? Sorry. I was just reminiscing about some unpleasant memories. Once we're done with this testimony, we'll leave immediately. Thank you. It's all my fault that you were involved in the Shenzhou's problems. Danny. You shouldn't have to see the inside of the shackling prison. I'm... Oh, babe. I'm so sorry. I wish I could show you the real sights of the Lofu. He gently pats your hand. Danny! The six charioteers might have more power over the rest of this Shenzhou ship. But here, oh, in the Shackling Prison, it's the judges of the Ten Lords Commission so who call the shots. The judges will use a complicated interrogation device called the Karmic Mirror. It accurately tracks every physiological change during questioning and records it. Therefore, the judgment made here will be sufficient to convince the other administrators of this Xianzhou. At least they won't attempt to challenge the conclusions. <sighs> Perhaps that's why Fei Xiao insisted that we come here. Uh, since the judge isn't here yet, I'll wander around a bit. Okay, but watch your step. This place is not like the others. Oh, Danny. That's a good boy. The Jade Abakai. Abbasi? Abakai. Here glow with unusual luminescence as they perform their calculations, possibly on the status of the prison cells or the security of each area. Looking down, you see a honeycomb of densely packed prison cells extending deep in the darkness beyond. You hazard a guess on the number of prisoners they are capable of holding here. 3,000? 30,000? 300,000? Wait, this may not even be the entire Shackling prison. Welcome, <gasps> dear Anya. guests from the Express. 
Judge Hanya of the Interrogation Division. We've met before. It's Miss Hanya, it's you. You and your sisters are the only judges here? As one of the judges from the Interrogation Division. Oh my god, Hanya. I'll be recording your testimony today. Please allow me to express my gratitude to you again for subduing the demons in the like... Fixtral Garden. Looks Insane. like while March 7th and I were clueless, you already made many friends on the Shenzhou Oh my god, Fu. when we were on our on our streamer journey, it was a lucky coincidence. Pum Pum takes care of us at home and friends take care of us on the road. That's just how it goes. Even though you and I have met before, we can't show any favoritism under the Ten Lords. So, I love please do as I command that as we tired. head to Scrivener Hall and beyond. Don't do anything without my permission. This is not a place for ordinary mortals. You and Mr. Danhang, please come with me. Please lead the way, Your Honor. Please let me activate the mechanism before we all move forward. And please, watch your steps. Watch your steps. Oh my god. Hey, Hanya. Be very careful and watch your step as you make your way through. Okay. The terrain inside the shackling prison is treacherous. One wrong move, and you could end up plunging into the depths. Into and if you're unknown. really unlucky, you might be frozen solid or burned to a crisp before anyone can help you. Gee. Yeah, G is your right. Skills, I don't think you need to worry about that. So are there really 18 floors here? Why keep the danger the terrain so dangerous? <sighs> You're funny. This You're prison no, does you. contain many layers. We even brought in Vidyodora Icor line craftsmen to introduce the ingenuity of Delve Enchantment. What you're seeing now is just one part of the shackling prison. Is this true, Don Hong? Perhaps. I heard the war dance is about to be held in the mortal world. I remember watching a sword duel at the war dance with my sister when we were young. The Cloud Knight, who was the Luofu's ringmaster, was an amazing swordsman, and their sword flashed like lightning. Lightning. The Outworld Challenger had fiery red hair and a hand made of steel, oh. which roared like thunder. Who are they talking they about? For a long time before a winner could be declared. Time sure flies. Now, both my sister and I are residents of Guys, the Guys, because it says fiery hair, does not mean never Luca. Again feel the thrill of a competition. Are there a lot of? It was a cloud knight. Who was the Lofu's ringmaster? Was an amazing swords swordsman, with red hair. Why would it be Luca who uses his fists and Argenti who uses like a lance type thing, you guys? People in Starskiff Haven due to the war dance? Read the sentence, second, second, second. The Outworlder, oh. Why would it be Luca? Anyways, it's still not Luca. I can't read either. It's still not Luca because homies on Bella Bog and Bella Bog just opened up. And he's not a long life species. He's probably a baby. Sorry. I got a bit distracted there. Let's get going then. All right, let's go. <sighs> it's freezing. <laughs> this place is filled with the cold air from the northern peak of the polar delve. 
Even the toughest long life species would have a hard time enduring this. Okay. Get her a jacket. <laughs> Birds are the... Did you hear something just now? Oh. Let me check it out. Birds are born with no shackles. <sighs> what an eyesore. This place is packed with boxes and crates. Yeah, someone needs to clean up. These crates... They look oddly familiar. A few days ago, the Spirit Fairs received reports about an IPC transport ship that was attacked by Borison. Then, a bunch of those abominations were dumped into this place. I had a feeling there would be trouble during the war dance. But throwing both the pirates and the cargo in jail? <laughs> That's a new one. The mechs are in those in those crates are no joke. It looks like the IPC has caught attention of, of the Boris. I heard the Intelligentsia Guild crafted something dangerous. We have many records in the Hall of Karma about these wise ones. They love to tinker with forbidden technologies, always trying to push the limits of Ingenia. Ingenia. I caught a glimpse of the mechs in those crates, and they bear a striking resemblance to Borison. I wonder what they're planning this time. Well, business first. Let's keep moving. Business first. I like her voice. Oh, cutscene. <sighs> Uh-oh. Strange. Oh my god, she looks so good. I don't remember checking the containment facilities a second time. Oh no. Oh no. <gasps> Oh gosh! Watch out! Oh, Danny! Emergency! All wardens prepare for action! Emergency! All wardens prepare for action! Uh oh. Uh oh. Guys, the way Don Hung protected MC was so cute! Why are these things moving on their own? Something is wrong. The guards aren't responding. What? Whoa. Guys, the way that Danny protected MC. That was really cute. That was really, 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 really cute. Piece. Yeah, the music is nice. Robin's gonna get rid of it. Familiar. Beneath the waters lies an endless abyss. The waters. This thing is going wild. Just like a horse. Just Looks like, like a horse. It's creation. I weep for the departed. I weep for the departed. It too shall fall. Alright, give me another cutscene. But how is this even possible? Or not, it's fine. The spirit fairs follow the protocols, cutting off power to the mechs and sealing the crates. How could these mechs still start moving? <sighs> it's just like what happened in the artisanship commission before. These goods went haywire and attacked everyone in sight. Linksha mentioned there was some kind of biological tissue inside the mechs. Where are the spirit farers? Why hasn't anyone come to help us? I want Linksha. The Alchemy Commission members examined them and found some unusual structures within. These things showing up in the Shackling prison can only mean one thing. A prison break. <gasps> and whoever delivered these goods clearly wanted them to go through the Xianzhou's strict inspection process to show the Skyfaring Commission and Cloud Knights how dangerous they were. Danger. They wanted these mechs to end up right go, here arr, 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 arr. in the shackling prison. If these things already started taking action while nobody was paying attention, then the whole prison is in trouble, I'm afraid. And to make things worse, another group of visitors just entered the depths of the shackling prison. The messengers from the Xianzhou Yaoqing. 
And the prisoner they came to visit mm -hmm. might be the target whom these wolf-shaped mechs were delivered here for. If that vicious beast manages to break free, it will be a catastrophe for the Sienjo Lofu. Oh no. Oh no. Jaucho POV. Jaucho POV. Here we are. <sighs> Have we arrived already, Your Honor? Have we arrived already, Your Shouldn't Honor? Shouldn't there be a cage here? The most <gasps> notorious felons are locked away in the solitary delves deep down in the prison. Those delves can't be opened without proper authorization. The blue bird paves the path, and the Stygian lanterns illuminate it. Help me light up these lanterns, and the way to the bottom of the shackling prison will reveal itself. <laughs> ah, he's so cute! <laughs> Look at him! Look at him! <gasps> Let me take pictures. Square formation. No, my circular God. formation. Hot pot. Yuan Yang formation. Hot pot. Hmm. What should we try next? Hot pot. <laughs> I will say, you guys, look, okay, guys, listen, listen. I'm gonna say something, okay? Chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say something crazy, all right? All right? You guys ready for this? He is still the most NPC looking five star out here, but I do love him. He. He still looks like an NPC. I, 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 we can't deny that he still looks like one. But I, I like him. But I like him anyway. Okay? I still like him. I still really like him. He's probably right now my favorite man. But he still feels like an NPC. Like his, the four star, Moza, looks more like a five star than him. I'm just saying, I'm keeping it real. Keeping it real. I like that he likes Hot Pot. I like that he sounds like Kazuha. That's why I like him. But he looks like an NPC. Top five? No. My top five is not changing, you guys. It's Robin, Black Swan, Stell, March, Silver Wolf. That's not changing. I'm not E6. No more E6s. No more E6s. But, like, Moza looks more like a five-star than him. Like, look at that. What do you mean? I said March is, like, March is fourth. I've given you the diagrams for lighting the lanterns. Please take a look. Look how fluffy his tail is. Oh, uh, maybe I should have looked. Can Obsidian make it to top five, genuinely? Can Obsidian make it to that top five, Mina, genuinely? Depending on her personality, there's a, there's always a chance. From the bottom to the top. 
Okay, guys, this is gonna be a minute. If I started there, I need to go there. Where did I start again? Uh, if I started here, um, and then, um, From the bottom to the top. Okay. Okay, we're still doing good. Still doing good. All right. Okay. Easy. Perfect fit. First try. <laughs> the path is open. Once we descend to the bottom of the prison, please do not do anything reckless. Okay. I can't promise anything, but I'll try. You run so aggressively. He's like. <laughs> Inside the delve behind this door is the greatest enemy of the Foxians, Hule. Hule. According to custom, envoys from the Yao Qing visit the Xianzhou La Fu once every century to check on this abomination's imprisonment and condition. Even though the Ten Lords Commission sentenced Hulei to the Forest of Swords, suffering every day for the rest of his life, I understand that the Yao Qing messengers want to see him dead. Unfortunately, for the past seven centuries, they've had to return disappointed. Because this beast simply can't be killed. Oh my god, I love it when his eyes are open. If we can use his toxin to create medicine and save an innocent life, it might help balance out some of the sins he's committed. Could you be the key to a cure for the general? Who lay? Who lay? Who are you? <laughs> this is ratio looking mofo. And oh, again, that guy. The envoys of the Yao Qing will leave disappointed. However, all right, Emmett Soul. Don't say the or same. Grahatia, whoever you are from Final Fantasy XIV. Who's there? I'm just a humble counselor of the Rhino Hell Pack. You can call me Mock Talk. Mock Talk. Wardens, intruders on the lowest level. Send reinforcements! Nobody will hear you here. At the bottom of the shackling prison. Thank you for opening up the prison for us, Your Honor. We'll take it from here. No wonder I kept smelling that familiar stench. Why'd she say anything? So, it wasn't just my imagination. Do your thing, Morsa. We mustn't let these abominations get any closer! Detestable things. There are too many of them. Once we were inside the Shadow's prison, we found soldiers failing us everywhere. Renew your definition. It looks like they're dancing. So high. Let me show 
Does it look like they're dancing along? Think thrice, act wise. Though oft twice shall suffice. Renew your definition. More season. Trust begins. Just the right time. Whoa, whoa, oh. Hesitation only brings I suggest you surrender now. Of oh, course. Whoa, whoa. I'll still kill you. But I promise it'll be sweet. Oh, so high. Who said I needed Akron on the team? My back. No matter. She's harmony, okay, guys. Needs a little more heat. The threads of destiny aren't chosen. Huh. How precise. Oh shit! Stein. Cherry, thank you for the raid. Oh, Leave if you can, Bruce. Welcome in, everybody. Hello. It's not time yet. Welcome to my whoa whoa whoa. Wait, that's all. We're playing the story quest right now, so spoilers if you guys haven't played it yet. Welcome in. Hi, hello. My name is Mina. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate that. Since you're already here, why not have a meal? <laughs> I love his face. I like his face. <laughs> Memories are ever changing. Oh, I love Black Swan's ult. Beneath the silent water, water. lies an endless abyss. <laughs> Robin's putting in so much work. Okay. Oh god. Oh god. Now it's serious mode. Whoa there. Uh oh, what's going on? <gasps> uh oh. Who like? Oh no. Oh no, Shui. Dominant alphas in that room. I'm a flirty beta, though. How many times has the old burden home spun around since our last hunt? Duran's will. Tell me your name. Oh, great Hule, nemesis of the Foxians and the hunter of all beings. I'm Mokdok, a humble counselor. I'm not of the flirty. Rhino Hound. I'm only one insignificant heir spawned from your bloodline. It's been at least seven centuries since you led our pack through the hunting grounds of the stars. I'm thrilled to see that you are as cunning and skillful as ever. Seven centuries. Seven centuries have passed. But. Why have Duran's whelps grown to look like this? 
Tell me, Moktok, why have you grown to assemble our most despicable slaves and enemies, the Boxians? I've been commanded to release you from this cursed prison. It is Senjaya's will. That's why I had to take a magic Is pill. this like Von Lycan's, like, ultimate form? They along with your hypocrisy. Since you have an escape plan, tell me, what's our next move to get off of this ridiculously large ship? My brothers and I will lock down this prison, trapping the prison guards inside. This will buy us some time. The rest of my crew, who are undercover like me, will secure the vessels for our escape. According to the plan, we only have a tight two-hour window to get out of here. Originally, I intended to carry out the plan tomorrow, but they're planning to transfer you to the Sienjo Yaoqing now. So I seized this opportunity to set you free. <sighs> what a reckless plan, you idiot. Even if we manage to get the ships, our chances of escaping are slimmer than a boxy and slipping through my claws. But we have no other choice. The angel serving under the Master of Immortality sent me with a message. Only your return will end the prolonged divisions among the Borison. Every one of my crew is ready to lay down their lives if it means setting you free. <laughs> hmm. The sneaky weakling like you is actually showing some reckless bravery with this plan. Fine. You'll get what you want. I don't like how this one is, all is all up on Zhao Cho. I don't like well, that. Then, my lord, I don't like this. We should leave now. He needs some personal space. Before we go, give me one of those magic pills. Oh? My lord, do you seriously want to don the skin of a lowly beast? That would be a disgrace to your greatness, my lord. My lord. You idiot. Greatness means nothing without freedom. Once I get out, I'll need a disguise that won't raise any suspicion. As you wish, my lord. Mm. Is that Foxy enslave my meal? What? No, he's an envoy from the Sienjo Yaoqing. I plead you to endure him a bit, my lord, as he's more valuable as a hostage. Take him, guys. Time to move out. Aww. Oh, back to Stell POV. At the same time, baby girl Dunhung and Hanya realize the situation in the prison's Madam out Hanya, of control. The wardens in all areas are regrouping. Those ingenium enemies are wandering around and causing heavy casualties. And to make things worse, those iron wolves broke open the cages and let the criminals out. We've called for backup, but it seems like all communication is jammed. Let's preserve our strength and first take down the isolated prisoners. By decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended, dead or alive. Oh? Just a short time ago, the Nether Key mechanism was activated. It was probably Madame Shui and the Yao Qing messengers Aww. heading to the bottom of the prison. Given the situation, I'm afraid that area is exactly where our enemies are targeting. We mustn't let that vile beast escape from its cage. We've gathered all the prison guards who can still fight. And we'll split up and secure each floor. Go! Go! Those intruders are quite bold. They must have been planning this for quite a while. Indeed. But Borison tend to favor direct and aggressive approaches. Crafting careful and precise plans like this is simply not their style. Let's focus on the current situation right now. Please help me. Looks like the testimony will have to wait, huh? Like I said, wherever we go, we always end up in trouble. It's like a march line. What's the fastest way to the bottom Damn, of this Danny prison? just ignored us. If we don't get there quickly, we'll soon be outnumbered by all the enemies inside. We'll have to bend the rules. Because rules follow me. are made to be broken. Prisoners must remain in place in a phase by decree of the Ten Lords, all prison breakers and intruders shall be apprehended. Dead or alive. Dead or alive. Yes, ma'am. Well, 
welcome to my whoa 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 renew your definition oh, so I... okay I wonder what's gonna happen I wonder how Hanya is gonna react to seeing her sister like malfunctioning here yes ma'am yes ma'am let it show whoa, we need a few whoa. tools if we want to reach the bottom quickly follow me to the next floor oh god oh god oh god oh the god this cut off someone must have altered the mechanism no matter it'll just require a bit more work to get through press let it show whoa whoa Um. Hello? Hello? Some spirit bearers occasionally use Ingenia from the Artisanship Commission to navigate the treacherous terrain here. Normally, using devices like the shifting screen is strictly forbidden, as they could help prisoners escape. But. Given the urgency of the situation, let's just ignore the usual regulations. Oh, we're doing this thing, Emma Bobby. We. Stream four. Akron always comes in handy. The nether key has been activated. I hope we're not too late. Hang in there, sister. Hang in there, sister. That's like, um... I'm gonna say something really cursed. James Charles. Hang in there, sisters! I'm sorry, I know. I know, I know. Don't ever say that again. Hello, sisters! Is that not James Charles, you guys? All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Let it show. <laughs> Because you aren't wrong, does it make it all right? That is something I say to my friend all of the time. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Looks like there was a fierce battle here not long ago. <sighs> hmm. The gate to the prison delve is wide open. Hule has managed to break free. Oh, nor. Where are the Yelching messengers? And where's my sister? Are they still alive? Let's look around. Maybe we'll find some clues. Okay, um, I don't think this chest is a clue, but... I'll take it. I do like surprises. Me too, Robin. We have so much in common. Um, where's Shui? Shui. The warden fought to her death. Oh my god, her no weapon's nowhere to be seen. Clearly can tell that the warden ha was serving her duty in an intense battle when she died. Oh my god, they're just showing dead people. The 
The suffocating, empty darkness, an air of deathly stillness lingered about the gates. Okay. Uh, okay. Virtually impossible to break. Oh no. Oh no. Shui Yi is. Here. Oh no. Miss Shui Yi briefly sacrificed herself. My condolences. Oh. Condolences. Well, that's unnecessary. Yeah, we can just reprogram her. You must understand. Thanks to the Ten Lords' blessing, my sister turned into an Ingenium centuries ago. Dying and returning as just a soul to the Hall of Karma's document office has become a routine for her. That's While so, I'm not like, keen on morbid. Her throw away her body like it's some replaceable part, but. By the way. Have you seen bodies that might be the Yaoqing messengers? One of them is a Foxian wearing exquisite clothes, and the other wears a dark cloak, like a fugitive. No. I haven't found any Foxian bodies. Only Borison ones. So, the intruders and Hule are holding the Yaoqing messengers hostage. This is the worst situation. With hostages in their grasp, the prison guards can't do anything about the prisoners. If anything happens to the messengers, the relationship between the Yaoqing and the Luofu could be irreversibly damaged. What woe? We must rescue the messengers, get out of here, and spread the news. We mustn't give up as long as there's a glimmer of hope. Yeah! Oh my god. You should be in Danganronpa. What have you found, Miss Hanya? Oh? What the heck? A cyber specter? <laughs> I think Adana doesn't say anything. It's my sister. Looks like her soul hasn't returned to the Hall of Karma yet. Aww. At such a critical moment, her death can give us information that we can turn into an advantage. Let me see. The damage isn't too bad. If I can fix it up, my sister will have a temporary body. My sister. It's like Timekeeper. Oh no. Oh, that was easy. Hanya, I... I'm back. Welcome back, sister. I don't know what kind of expression I should have at a time like this. Happy? Tears of joy? <laughs> Forget it. I'm used to you coming back in all sorts of forms. A cyber specter. That's pretty convenient. Your new form is kind of cute. Spicy Khan, thank you for the five gifted. Thank you. I appreciate that, gamer. Now is not the time for j j jokes. <laughs> j j joke. This side crane can't hold all of me. Sister, what did you see when you were killed? Through imminent intermittent. One of the Yaoqing okay. messengers escaped, and the other one was taken hostage and brought upwards? Besides the Borison, there were other intruders. Invisible. Invisible intruders? What does that even mean? <sighs> How many conspiracies are tangled up in this mess? Do me a favor, sister. The intruders have cut off all communication between inside and outside the prison. And now you're the only person, the only bird, who can slip out undetected. Make sure you deliver the news to the outside world. I understand. Please be careful, sister. You are different 
from me. Aww. The Psycrane flaps its wings and unsteadily flies out of the lower levels of the Shackling Prison, charging straight into the depths of the shadowy passage. Time is running out, Miss Hanya. If we keep delaying, those Borosin will escape from the prison. All right. If we happen to come across that Yaoqing messenger who got away... <sighs> no. Stopping Hule should probably be our top priority. They go wee all the way back up. Oh. Wait! Something feels off. Something's approaching us. The invisible intruders? Uh, oh my god. Watch your back! Watch your back! These abominations aren't prisoners from this prison. The Harmony will soon play in unison. Oh. Oh. Ill -tiding the Harmony was I've F1. never heard that voice line before, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> End, you guys. Huh. Uh -huh. Your death My weak foot departed. It did so far. Let it show. Whoa, whoa. The prison management on the law foo is truly concerning. Who are you? Aren't you looking for me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ill fate is there. Just focus on the fight. Is that Moza? Beneath the water lies an endless abyss. No matter. Immortality means forever. Uh. Immortality. May you find peace and solve. I do, Queen. Thank you. He's so edgy. The man seems to materialize from the shadowy corners of the prison, as if he could vanish into thin air at any moment. The fugitive wearing a dark cloak spoken of by Hanya now stands before you. His face is devoid of any expression, cold and indifferent, yet inexplicably you could decipher this expressionless facade as it whispered, you're finally here. The prison management on the law foo is truly concerning. You already said that a moment ago. You look better when you're silent. Hey, you're the Yao Qing messenger who fled. I prefer to be called the Yao Qing messenger who strategically retreated. <laughs> At least two different groups of intruders infiltrated here. The wolf cubs and these Mara struck soldiers. Strategically retreated. Their hiding okay, technique. Buddy. It's pretty similar to the wind mantle technique used by the Vidyatara serving Kylorum Venti on the Yao Qing. What do you think? Well, never mind if you don't have any clues. Now is not the time he does to look exchange like wise, though. techniques. I'm Waza. My friend fell into the clutches of that wolf. I was planning to escape and report back as quickly as possible. But now it seems... He's like an edgy or wise, but I don't like edgy. A real maze. I like I soft boys. Thank you for your help, Mr. Moza. We'll do our best to ensure your friend's safety. No, you can do nothing for him now. And you shouldn't be focusing on his safety at the moment. You're so heartless, but isn't he your friend? Your friend is in Hule's clutches, and you're just going to leave him behind? Oh, Danny. Look, I'm the Yao Qing general's guard, not his. Oh my I've god. I've seen how that giant wolf fights, and there's no way. Trying to save my friend will only get us killed. <sighs> 
I don't know how you think, but I won't throw my life away for a lost cause. Listen up. I've been tracking these fugitives, and I know their next move. They're planning to seal off the entire yeah, prison. Yeah, I love Danny this badge. I mean, I, I always love Danny. The worst case scenario, we are all killed by that giant wolf, and the shackling prison is sealed off. No one will know about us or about their escape until it's too late. And the best case scenario... We kick all those bad guys' butts. We trap them inside the prison. We, Both we and the intruders get trapped inside the prison. One. With an indifferent gaze, he sizes you up and down. Somehow you decipher his expressionless face as this person's lost their mind. How pitiful. Damn. The best case scenario would be we seal the gates and trap the enemy inside with us. We can't <coughs> let that monstrous wolf escape. Hopefully, someone will eventually notice that something is off and come to help. As for whether we'll still be alive by then, it's not something we should think about. You sure have a way of comforting people, Mr. Morza. As a person of the Yao Ching, I've always searched for something meaningful to give my life to. I have to make it out alive. My companions are waiting for me. <laughs> As a netherworld dweller, I've already died once. Okay. Um, hmm. Then I'll give it my all. I want to make it out alive too. Are we really out of options? Don't oh, worry. God. Even if we end up dying here? Don Hong! Let it happen to you first. Well, Danny! Just as good at people as Mr. Mordza. Danny! None of you are part of the Ten Lords I love him. So sacrificing yourselves isn't the right move. As a judge, it's my responsibility to guard this prison. And if someone yeah, the Don Stell, this badge is Ule insane, escaping, dude. It should be me, not you. Should have been me. Once we reach the gate, I hope you'll help me seal it. After that, I'll do everything I can to fight the Borison. Do you find a safe place to hide and wait for reinforcements? Now, let's proceed upward. Stream forward. Welcome to my. Oh, oh, oh. Ah! Ah! That scared me. That scared like me. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. Renew your definition. We must seal the entrance before the Boris and fugitives get out. The prison wardens and mechanisms won't be able to hold them for long. Follow me. Almost there. The gate is just ahead. Okay. Stream four. The fugitives are charging at the gate. God, Akron is so handy. I will hold them back. Don't let Hule escape. Harmony and unison. 
on your beloved. Yeah. Kinda tickles. That kind of tickles. Doors echo. And awaken. May you find peace and song. Stream four. All right. Maybe just run around with Akron for a little bit. Don't forget to let your friends in on the action. <sighs> Bro, we're really like climbing up everywhere, right? Bum, bum, bum. Uh oh. Oh my god, he did the thing. This brings back such familiar memories. Memories of chasing. Gnawing and tearing. Oh, they're back. They're back. They've all come back. My lord, we're just one step away from freedom. Once we pass through the gate, no one will be able to stop us. Hmm. So this hostage is useless now. Oh my god. Kill him, Mock Talk. He's getting away. Do something, Jiao Cho. It's just like the old days, you useless loser. Just Aww, do something. Oh, baby. All the sweat drop. Maybe this Yao Qing messenger can strike a deal in exchange for his life. He can use his status to help us escape from the Xianzhou. What do you think, Mr. Jiao Cho? <laughs> Just look oh my at you. god, this Falling villain! So low during my absence. You're even negotiating with livestock. As far as I recall, no one from the yeah, outside would bro. ever consider a deal with Duran's offspring. I've got to make this beast stay here, whether it's for the sake of Fei Xiao or the Yao Qing. Deal. I certainly have more value alive. My identity, my knowledge of the Xianzhou, and my understanding of many things that your minions have no knowledge of. They'll all be valuable. <laughs> Lowly beast. Muster up that pitiful tongue of yours and plead for what remains of your life. Speak up. I'm afraid you're unaware. Uh, the woman <gasps> who defeated you, Jing Liu, she has recently returned to the Law Fu. Your opportunity for revenge is right in front of you. Uh oh, he said the thing. <sighs> My lord, this slave is talking nonsense. I've never heard anything about this. May I just kill him now? Uh -oh. Silence, Mok Talk. And you, slave, from now on, you'll stay by my side. You'll only speak and move when I allow you to. Otherwise, I'll dismember you from head to tail, inch by inch. Oh. Got it? <laughs> but my, my lord. lord... We must stay here for some time, Mock Talk. Fear not. Because once I step out of the prison, it's the people of the Sienjo who should tremble in fear. In fear. I'll show them what true calamity means. Now, Duran's whelps, follow me! Team 
shoveled face. Like, I know we're in the middle of like some battle stuff right now, but I think it's puzzle time. Nexus. This quest. Ha. Report! After we lost contact with the shackling prison, we received a message Bro, from the Bro, Danny's so good this this time. The prisoners have revolted, and the criminal Hule is nowhere to be found. What about the Yaoqing messengers and the nameless? Uh, no news at the moment. We're trying to restore contact with the shackling prison as soon as possible. I see. You're dismissed. Oh? General Jing Yuan, General Hua Yan. It's just as we suspected. The rise of the Ambrosial Arbor was not the end of things, but the beginning. The hand of the Ruin Legion has already sown the seeds of destruction. From this moment on, the Xianzhou Alliance will face an even greater challenge from both the abominations of abundance and the destruction itself. If this is what they want, I'm always up for a challenge. Got her blue eyes stare. As the Marshal Special Envoy, I'll dispatch the Lawfu Cloud Knights to pursue Hule myself. Looks like the hidden drags have finally come to the surface. And as I said before, it's time to wash them away, once and for all. After a brief but devastating loss of communications, the lockdown shackling prison is once more under control. The Express's nameless may have emerged unharmed, but one of the Yaoqing envoys has been taken hostage. Meanwhile, the Borison warhead Hule, long confined to the depths of the shackling prison, has vanished without a trace. A pursuit between the hunter and the hunted will soon play out on the Jianzhao Lofu. What? This haven of memories. Every touch, every moment is like a thorned rose. Huh? 